what led you to the functional programming domain in the first place? Dissatisfaction. That's hard. With, hard to say because, uh, you know, I. I was just trying to think of some sort of really higher level right. programming that wasn't as difficult as Fortran. Ah. And uh, that's, you know, and the problem was that, you know, the idea of functional programming and combining forms and stuff like that right. came pretty easily. But, you know, trying to make it into a real full system where you could deal with all sure. the, other issues that you sure. couldn't express in that language uh, got very confusing and messy. Indeed, as, as I look over your career, you probably spent more time on functional programming than you did on the Fortran work, certainly. I think you so. Spent more yeah. time on that. Yeah. 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 Were there others around you that, that influenced the, the early functional programming work, or was this sort of a, a foray on your own? It was mostly a four four uh, AM. Yeah. Yeah. And, and IBM created an environment that they let you go off and do this. Do yeah. these wild well, things. Yeah, you know. I I guess yeah, by that time I was a fellow. Yes. So I could do whatever the hell I wanted. Tell me about some of its earliest formulations. What were the problems you were trying to solve that Fortran didn't quite solve? You mentioned Well, I was just trying to be a high, higher level. Uh -huh. You know, so that you didn't have to get into all this gory details sure. and stuff. Um, you know, basically the idea was to try to describe the transformation that you wanted to right. take place rather than how to do it. Yep, yep. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it evolved very slowly and peculiarly, you yep. know, I mean, just I had no idea about combining forms when I started. Sure. And uh, just, Finally, hit on that idea and sure. developed it. But I mean, it was you know ultimately unsuccessful because it couldn't take in all the all the peripheral stuff that you. The had functional to, programming work yeah, was, was right. unsuccessful. Yeah, and, and let's dwell upon that for a moment because you know there was there were some other papers that I saw after your Turing Award lecture, which was mm -hmm. also a turning point because I think it was a. I describe it as a wake-up call to language developers and programmers saying, you know, there's a different way of looking at the world here, and, mm -hmm. and, and the world was going down a very, very different path. So let me pursue that point of why you think it didn't succeed. Well, because uh, the, the fundamental paradigm did not include a way of dealing with real time. Ah, uh -huh. it, was, it was a way of, of saying, how how to transform this thing into that thing. Right. But that was no element of time involved. Mm -hmm. And that was where it got hung up. Yeah. And that's a problem you wrestled with for literally years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And unsuccessfully. Mm. 